This question starts off with a standard find the number of something present at the start of something when it's an exponential uh, growth. Uh, basically at the start means time equals zero so we just substitute t equals zero into here which we can do uh, just by looking at it uh, we get 5000. Um, so the answer to part A is very straightforward 5000, it's only worth one mark. Find the percentage increase in the number of bacteria present at time equals 0 and time equals 2. So we need to do put t equals 2 into that equation and we get n equals, just quickly work that out, n equals 5408. So the percentage increase is 408 out of 5000 times 100, which gives us 8.16%. Uh, 8, 8 um, now, given that n equals 15,000 when t equals t, let's get some space here. So n equals 15,000 when t equals t. I'm just going to substitute that into the equation, which you now see at the top. So we get 15,000 15, equals 5,000 times 1.04 to the power t. I'm substituting those two values in which tells us that 1.04 to the power t equals um, 3. Now, you need logarithms for this. Uh, so I'll do this in two steps so you can see why I'm doing this. The logarithm of the left-hand side, logarithm 1.04 to the power t, equals the logarithm of the right-hand side. Now, your laws of logarithms enable us to take that t and put it here. And then we divide both sides by the logarithm of... 1.04, so we get t equals logarithm of 3 divided by the logarithm of 1.04, and so t equals um, uh, I don't know, just pause a second. With you now, just couldn't use my calculator though, it's 28.011 blah blah blah, 28.01. Now, we're asked to find the value of dn by dt when t equals 3. So we need dn by dt. Um, again, just make a bit more space here. Uh, we've got our original equation, uh, n equals 5,001.04 to the power t. So dn by dt equals uh, 5,000 times 1.04 to the power t times the logarithm of 1.04. That's basically how you integrate things, sorry, differentiate things, uh, exponentials where it's not e, simply e to the power something, in this case it's 1.04 to the power something. Uh, we know that t is 28.01 at this point, so we substitute that in and we get, bear with me, we get 588.1. Something. Uh, let's just see what we're answering here. Find the value in three significant figures, so 590 would be the answer to three significant figures.